Hello, I'm Marcus Desar, Director of Sales at Castle Trust, and I'm going to walk you through our exciting new broker portal. We've been listening to our brokers, and our in-house development team have come up with some exciting new features which will make dealing with Castle Trust an even smoother experience for you. Welcome to the homepage of the Castle Trust broker portal. Here you can submit applications for new cases, check in on existing cases and submit documents that are required. There is information on the product ranges here. For buy to let, you can see the type of clients we accept and this link will take you to the website and you can do the same for owner occupier over here. You can submit applications by clicking on the customer type your client is, bridging, buy to let or owner occupier. To see how your cases are progressing, Click here to go to Case Manager. Case Manager shows you the high level status of your cases. Here you can see which cases have requirements outstanding and which cases have new updates from when you last logged in. The key on the right hand side shows you the stages the case will progress through and allows you to easily identify the case you're working on. To filter the list, Type in the case details such as case number, stage, product or name and then press search. If you want to show the full list again, click on show all cases. You can do a quick filter by product type to show either your buy to let and buy to let bridging cases or your owner occupier cases. Cases that are no longer proceeding will be marked with the case stage NLP. To keep your case manager current, NLP cases are not automatically displayed in this list, but you can choose to include them by clicking this box. You can reorder the list by clicking the table headings. By clicking the table heading again, it will reverse the list, helping you to keep on top of where you are with each case. Click on one of your cases to see it in more detail. This area of case manager is the biggest game changer in this upgrade. Here you can find everything you need to manage your cases and you have instant access to the status of your case whenever you want, even when we're not in the office. This basic information will display at the top of every page so you can be sure which case you are working on. This page will automatically open onto the requirements tab. This is the bit you'll be really interested in as it shows you which requirements have been satisfied and whether there is anything outstanding on your case. When a new case has been reviewed by one of our underwriters, they will add the list of requirements onto this page. Requirements are sorted into three columns, required, submitted and satisfied, and these will clearly show you how your case is progressing at a glance. The required column will display all outstanding requirements. If the requirement needs a template to be completed, it will show a download template button which opens the requirement in a web page. From here, you can save the template to your computer and complete it with the information. When you are ready to respond to a requirement, click respond. You will notice the red wording at the top. This is a new feature that means you will no longer have to certify each document something we're sure all our brokers will really appreciate. Upload the file needed for the requirement and if you wish to, you can add a message for the mortgage lending team in the notes field. Click send response to submit. After you have responded to a requirement, it will move over to the submitted column where it will be reviewed by a member of our mortgage lending team. If the submission meets the requirement, we will satisfy the requirement and it will move over to the satisfied column. However, if we require more information from you, it will be moved back over to the required column with a note to explain what is needed. As your case progresses, the list will move over to the satisfied column. One of the new features we're most excited to show you is the Messages and Attachments tab. 
By using the messages feature for all communications between yourself and Castle Trust, you can keep all your case correspondence in one place, making it easier for you to manage. You'll notice that all messages are time and date stamped and grouped into conversations just like on your smartphone. To start a new conversation with the mortgage lending team, click Create Message. You can write your message in the main box and there's also an option to add an attachment. We've already touched on how to submit required documents using the Requirements tab, but if you have any other relevant documents to submit, you can do that here. When you are ready, click Send and the new conversation will appear. You can read and respond to messages by selecting a conversation and then clicking Respond. The Terms and Illustrations tab is where your pre-sales illustration and application details live. Some documents, such as the pre-sales illustration, will have multiple versions based on what you've requested from us. These historical versions will be stored here too. If you want to download a copy for your records, you can do so easily using the download button. The case details tab shows you basic information such as applicant name, loan details and the addresses of all the securities. If you need to call us about the case, we will use this information to verify your identity. When the case has reached completion, you'll notice the maturity date will be displayed on this page. I hope you found this useful. If you need any help, please do not hesitate to contact the team or visit the support page. I'm really proud of the work that our in-house developers and mortgage lending team have done with these upgrades. Please do not hesitate to give us your feedback. Thank you.